Hello everyone and welcome to the Team Tiny Sparkle Blends Hop sponsored by Amber McMurtry from Doodle Paper Playground at her, and she has an Etsy shop and she has a $10 credit to her shop so the more you comment the more opportunities you have to win the $10. So thank you for joining us today. Team Tiny is a 1,000 subscriber or less Facebook group. We'd love to have you come on over, give us a try. We have hops uh, twice a month. And right now I'm just showing you the Doodle Paper Playground amazing sparkle blends. I have um, several <laughs> in my stash. And this is Sassy and Crafty. It's called Shake It Up Baby. And then I have a snow globe easel die set from Anna Griffin. So those are the items I'm showing you here. Now this is Clean Master Brilliant Eyes. I use it on the acetate to basically use this anti-static. It works amazingly. You have to give it a try. Um, I also do use some powder for the edges if I use uh, 3M foam tape. There you saw me adding a layer to my many layers <laughs> on this shaped card that I'd be making. It is a shaker. Um, I added several layers of paper so that I don't use up a lot of foam tape. So that's what I'm showing you here. I'm stacking, I think it's three varied sizes. Um, I had a little bit of an accident with the main easel die. So I'm just using the base part of it and I'm using it as a shaped card instead of an easel card. So that's the only variable here. So that's the base. And here I'm adding, oh, I'm cutting away the acetate that I encased between um, the layers of papers and everything will be listed in the supplies list below. There I'm just adding a little snow drift into the back of the snow globe. I'm just cutting it out there as you can see trying to see where I want to place it. There we go. And what about how adorable this penguin is? Oh, can you stand it? I can't stand it. She's just so cute. She, he, it's just generic. It's adorable. I absolutely love, look at the cheeks. Oh my gosh, the cheeks are amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I am utilizing Copic markers. They are alcohol-based markers. And I'm going all around and I'm mapping out the uh, dark area of the penguin, which is the majority of the little body. I did color in the headband that is holding the earmuffs together there. Basically, that's the earmuff band. <laughs> and I'm just going in with my C markers. I have C3, C5, C7. I also used on the headband, I used COO, C1, and C3. So I'm just going in now with C5. And then my darkest color will be the C7. Actually, I think, yeah, that's the C5. Um, I'm outlining and mapping out, and I'm trying to get it all nice and I want it to look rounded. So when you round an object, usually there's a midpoint that is lightest so that it reflects some light and it shows that it's a rounded, it gives you the appearance of a rounded object. So that's what I'm going for. Cause you know, this little person, this little penguin is definitely round and pudgy. Oh my gosh. I just want to pinch its little cheeks. It's so cute. <laughs> I've really enjoyed coloring this in and making these shaker cards. I did make two. Um, so I'm just showing you coloring the penguin in once because it's colored exactly the same in both cards. So here I'm going in with the C, I believe it's C3, mapping out the white area. I know it looks gray, but believe me, when it's all said and done, it will look white because it'll have like some shadows cast and that's basically what the gray is all about. And it's, I, I call it the gray scale. That's what I was taught. So it's the gray scale. There's the little cheeks. Oh my gosh. 
could you, I just can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Too adorable. Too cute. Too cute. And those little toes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I really had a blast making these cards and coloring this little penguin in. So I did color it in three separate times. Um, I'm doing something else with the third one. I think I'm going to make a tag for my son who absolutely loves penguins at 26 years old. <laughs> so I love him too, but I'm not telling you my age. Here I went in with the R um, markers. It's R81, 83, and 85. You're going to give it a little bit of a belly and a little bit of fluffiness because it, to me, it's a little baby penguin. So I'm making it fluffy because, you know, baby penguins are fluffy after all. Okay. I took from the Shake It Up Baby uh, stamp set and I cut the interior of the snow globe out from that stamp set. And what I did was, because it was such a thin area <laughs> when I was done, I, oh, here I'm showing you the Sparkle Blends. I have it in Conversation Hearts and Sweet Boy. That's what Amber sent us from Doodle Paper Playground. Um, the Sparkle Blends that she sells on her Etsy shop. And they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at those huge hearts. I mean, so amazing. I thought to myself, hmm, what will I be able to do with these hearts? Look at that. They have such variety in the colors and they have speckled and they have, you know, all kinds of beauty, just beautiful yumminess. I love them. I have so many of them. I'm sure I'm going to get many more. So there we go. I did a little bit of surgery. It was painless, I assure you. I went into the little flippers and I slit little areas so it could hug the little heart. And I'm just applying some glue to ensure that it stays in place. Oh, I just love that little penguin. And look, there you go. Accidents happen, but that's okay. We're just going to sweep them up off the desk. Here we go. And we're going to plop them back in. <laughs> there you go. Easy peasy. I'm just adding a few more teeny tiny hearts that are in there. There's um, a bunch of tiny ones that I just thought would be perfect. So there you go. There's my Clean Master Brilliant Eyes that I used on the acetate to keep the static off. I'm adding my glue. And I'm pretty much mushing the glue flat so that it doesn't ooze onto the acetate. That's kind of a little trick that I use to absorb some of it. Here I made a little bow and I'm about to show you how I did it. Okay, index finger, third finger. With your thumb and ring finger, you hold the loose end. You take the one end and flip it over and above the two loops and beyond. You go down, you go behind the long piece, so you see your ring fingers in the loop, put the short piece through the loop with your ring finger and thumb, hold the loose piece and pull everything at the same time. I'm left-handed, so you would pull with your right hand if you're right-handed. And you just pull everything taut and voila, you have a bow. So I know it's concise explanation, but you can rewatch this. You can slow it down. Totally up to you, but that's a bow. Voila. Okay, so I have the shaker bits inside. I have both parts of the acetate inside as well, as you can see. Now I'm applying that adorable little penguin, adding a little bit of glue to the bow that I made. I'm gonna clamp it down with my tweezers. I'm going to use the interior decorator in me and just kind of make a little bit of drapery kind of a, a look, draping and cascading some ribbon on either side. There you go. Add a little bit of um, the Beacon 3-in-1 is fabulous with fabric as well as paper. It's alcohol-based, so it dries pretty quickly. I'm just clipping the edges. 
with some nice sharp scissors. And then I'm going to add some of the Beacon 3-in-1 glue onto the back of the penguin and spread the glue because again, we don't want it to ooze out. I'm gonna put his her little feet on the edge at the top and just glue it on. Uh, this is Red Liner from Thermaweb. It works magnificent to stick so many things together. I highly recommend it. So I'm coming in with my C7 and I'm going to make it look rounded because it is the base and usually the base to a snow globe is round, just like the snow globe. So I'm going in with the C5 next. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and go in with my C3 and then I'm going to glaze over the entirety so that it kind of blends all together. You can almost see it happen. <laughs> so again, this time I'm going in on the base with the C7 and then filling up towards the line with the C5 and going in through the center with the C3 again. I'm gonna come back in here with the C7 where the banding would be, where I guess the top part of that and the base of it would kind of come together. So it looks pretty rounded. Look what I got, folks. I have the new Tonic Studios Tim Holtz Deckle Edge Trimmer. That was a mouthful, but I love it. I love it. I highly recommend it. It's so cool. It makes the sentiments look amazing instantly. <laughs> I'm just showing you very quickly one of the sentiments I used on one of the cards and voila. So there is the finished card. The first one I made, shake it up, baby. And this is the second one here. You see there's snow friends like you. I put some of, I believe it's R334 that I use to go around the edge. There they are in a little tree being happy little penguins in the snow. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please go to visit the rest of us. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. And please hit the bell icon for future uploads. Blessings to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.